hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope everybody's doing really really well um it's been a while since i made a video um you know life happens in any case today's um video is going to be sort of a precursor to the next video um because i had this brain fart of something that i want to do for um, a halloween video um in any case what i wanted to do was a corkscrew or a spiral nail um, I'm saying both because I don't know who calls it what um, but in any case um, I'm gonna do this tutorial today I know that this has been around for a long time and like my previous videos um, I think people are like you know the videos I, I'm doing is stuff that's been around for a while yes it has been around for a while I just haven't been on YouTube so that's why I'm doing what I'm doing and I'm doing it for the fun of it um, in case you do not know how to do a corkscrew or a spiral nail, you can watch this video. So, um, I did this in mind with, <laughs> I did this with my next video in mind because, um, like I said, I wanted to do something for Halloween and it was going to involve a spiral nail. So in case you don't know how to do that, um, you can watch this video and then it'll show you more or less how I do my nails, uh, corkscrew spiral nails, and um, that way you'll know what to do if you want to do the video. Ugh. You'll know how to do the nail I want to do in my Halloween video. Okay, I got it right. Okay, so without further ado and without me getting my words twisted even more, let's get into the video. guys okay so let's get stuck into doing this nail so what we're gonna do is we are going to take our naked nail and we are just going to set up the normal part of the nail so that we've got a structure to build our corkscrew or spiral onto so we're just gonna do a normal kind of nail with our um, I don't know what you want to call it, um, apex and so forth. So let's just get that going. Nail, just a little piece of nail so that we can attach the end of the straw to it. Because you need something that you can glue the end of the straw onto um, so that it can um, hang on to that while you are doing a corkscrew. Okay. Okay. as you can see I have done some others so I will let those dry so we'll work on a different one it's just to show you how to get your base going over there all right okay so let's work on this one um, so I'm gonna take a smaller brush because I just find it a little bit easier to make the spiral with. I'm gonna get a little bit of nail. All right, so we're gonna take our straw, um, which is a plastic straw. Um, I don't think you get these that much um, readily available anymore because now they make the paper straws. So this is an old um, plastic straw. I think if you can use a plastic straw, it's better. If you don't have a plastic straw and you can only get your hands on the paper straws, I think I would wrap a piece of tape around that. Um, just to make it easier, I think a little bit less um, papery and easier to sort of take the acrylic off of. We're going to go in really, really tiny little um, increments of acrylic because it's just going to mean a lot less work down the line and it's going to be a lot neater. I mean, obviously you can file your corkscrew. Um, it's just a lot neater if you do it in small amounts. So here we go. And I like to flatten my corkscrew quite a lot because um, I like to put a pattern on it normally. So I don't like it to just be a corkscrew. I like to have a pattern on it. Okay, so you're gonna wanna Make sure that you turn your client's hand all the way through it, all around the time. Because that's the only way you're going to get to see the shape of your corkscrew. Mm. 
just be careful not to put on a very runny blobs of acrylic because then it's going to run down the straw and create its own thing and before you know it it will be dry and will have dried in an, an awkward place so. then I'm just going to go over everything again give it a very solid structure so it's just doubling up on all my acrylic that I've already put there okay so I think once your nail seems um, pretty dry um, you can take a pretty thin uh, tweezers or something I do like to just take mine and very carefully press in um, just to kind of loosen the straw a little bit on the insides here um, just be careful not to damage it um, you just want to sort of pull it apart from your spiral Okay, see what happens to my popping nails. Once you've got a good grip on there, <laughs> okay, you can just pull it out carefully. very carefully sort of twist and pull at the same time it makes it a whole lot easier okay there we go and there you have your corkscrew corkscrew or your spiral okay now that you have it nice like that you get to um whew, and there goes my video okay now that you have your corkscrew um you are going to File it nice and neatly in between. So you're gonna get um, a, excuse me, you're gonna get a file, and this is where it comes tricky because you do not want to break it off, and you are, you are going to hold it at the bottom as well, and you are going to file. You can use an e-file if you wish um, to make it a little bit easier. Just make sure that you use it very carefully. Let me show you what it looks like if you're gonna use an e-file. I'll just change my bit over here okay okay so if you're going to use an e-file Gonna want to go like really slowly and very carefully over there in between. Um, really depends on you. If you're going to use a file, make sure that you use um, a thin and sharp file. not going to use um, an e-file and you want to use a nail file maybe something small and thin like that um, it would be easier just make sure that you've got a good grip on the corkscrew at the same time so that you don't snap your corkscrew at the process of filing it so you're basically just going to carry on filing until you've got all your bits and pieces of um okay guys so once you have completed your nail um, okay, I have not finished filing this. I just wanted to show you that um, we finished the nail now. So once you've come to the end of your whole thing, you're going to finish filing it nice and neat. Um, and once you finish filing it nice and neat, you're going to put on a coat of clear gel and um, you're going to 
put that into your LED lamp and you're going to cure it and um, get it nice and smooth and then you're going to do um, whatever decoration you want to do on it. So, um, I mean, there's endless possibilities you can do with um, your corkscrew to decorate it. And um, what I've done in the past is a couple of different things. Obviously, um, I can't show you, I don't have pictures of my client's nails, but um, this is one that I've done previously. And this was the newspaper nails that I did in, I can't remember if it was my first or second video. Um, but I didn't do the corkscrew, but this is, I'm just showing you that, um, you know, the newspaper, vintage newspaper nail art, and you can do even um, that in a corkscrew. So there you go, corkscrew, vintage newspaper nail art in a corkscrew. And then um, this was um, the only other two that I could find, sorry, but um, that was from ages ago. Um, I think this was probably only the first or second corkscrews I ever did and that was for mermaids. I can't remember the, the other nails but they probably looked very similar to this um, on the other hand. So um, that would have been the accent nail and that was um, a very glittery, oh sorry yeah, my hand is like right in the camera. <laughs> so that is a very glittery um, corkscrew. And um, yeah, I mean, the possibilities are endless and whatever you're doing on your other nails, you can do with your corkscrew. So um, it's really cute. And I think that for a fancy dress or um, a New Year's Eve party or just any kind of party nail, that can be really fun. It's different. It's fun. Um, it's interesting. It's really fun to do. Um, so it's fun to try. So if you haven't tried it before, I say give it a go. Um, it's very... Um, enjoyable to just do it um, as uh, nail art. So um, if you haven't tried it before, I say give it a whirl. No pun intended. Okay, guys. So that was the video. Um, like I said, it's not like I'm not a guru. I'm not like a, a nail art teacher. It's just my take on the um, spiral corkscrew nails. I really hope that it helps. If you've never done it before and you don't know how to do it. Um, if you want to see what I'm going to do with this, if it works um, in my Halloween uh, nail art video, then um, come back to my channel, click like and subscribe and click that little bell and then you will know what I'm going to do with the corkscrew nail. So um, I really hope that it did help you and I'm like not confusing anybody. Um, like I said in the video, just make sure that um, you're going to make this part of the nail like really structurally sound um, because I'm assuming that you're only going to do this kind of nail if it's like for a party or something really fun and when people are having fun and waving their arms around and stuff like that chances of you bumping into someone or knocking it on a table although can that happen in the current lockdown situation I don't know but you know lockdown won't last forever so if you do this in the next time or you do get to go out and flap your arms around and you bang it, it's, it's going to be painful, it's going to break off, whichever. But just make sure that this is structurally sound. Otherwise, your whole corkscrew is going to come off and it's going to be sad. Um, and like I said, you can do any kind of decoration on the corkscrew. I think whatever, whatever you put on the rest of your nails, whatever design you can do on the corkscrew as well. Um, and it's fun to do guys it's I mean I love it it's really fun it's so easy um, and just be careful when you are taking the straw out and you pressing in between with the um, small tweezers or something like that that you don't break the corkscrew off that you're not pressing against the actual acrylic corkscrew bit because then you're gonna like damage the whole thing so um, anyway that is me I really hope that you um, enjoyed this and I hope that it helps and if you're going to watch my next video which is going to be using this corkscrew as part of my halloween decorations um then um i hope that it helps okay anyway um take care god bless and look after yourselves bye guys